what a cracker day you've put on for us, Wesley. This is amazing back here at the vineyard. Uh, big day today, you're harvesting the Sauvignon Blanc. Yep, yeah, really fortunate to have a nice day like this. We're harvesting our Woolshed Block today, which is our reserve wine. So it's looking fantastic. Everything's really golden bunches. The nets, can I just talk about that? The process of taking the nets off, when does that happen? Uh, we took the nets off for that block yesterday. So we do do it as soon as possible to the harvest so the birds don't get in there too soon. And yeah, we have, we can, our nets are six rows at a time and we can take them all off in a day, which is about four hectares, that block. More importantly, the grapes. How long does it take you actually to harvest the grapes? Uh, it depends if we're hand picking or machine picking. Uh, today we'll be machine picking some and hand picking some and we use those for different portions of the wine. So the hand picking will be fermented in barrel and then the machine will be in a stainless steel tank and then we blend it together at the end. Sounds amazing. Well we are going to do a beautiful wine and food match later. Now I need to catch up with Nicola. I know you're really excited about the grapes so we'll talk more about that. Simple as that. Nicola, sometimes the most simple of foods are the best. Yeah, yeah. And I think you've got a great example of that here. Just yesterday, matching the aioli with smoked salmon and on ciabatta. Really, really simple, but goes so nicely with the Sauv Blanc. Oh, yes, the white pro Sauvignon Blanc. And we'll talk more about that with a Wesley. So, aioli is uh, probably a significant part of it, isn't it? Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is. But we're just going to make it, make it from, not from absolute scratch today, but we've got a good mayo. So mm -hmm. if you just give me the mayo. Thank you. So we're just going half with mayo and half with yoghurt, which gives a great flavour, but also, of course, cuts down the fat heaps. So oh, with yoghurt? Uh, yeah, a really good bonus. So Any particular yoghurt? Just or? a nice thick Greek yoghurt. Okay, you want great. a nice thick Greek, Greek yoghurt. Yeah, so that it's, it still has that, that feel, mouth feel to it. So it has that little sharpness though, doesn't it, to the yeah. Greek yogurt? Yeah. yeah, it does, mm. yeah. Yum. Then we've got some freshly chopped garlic. Love it. So make sure you get the nice fresh. There's a couple of cloves there. So it's fairly strong garlic flavour, but that's what aioli's all about. And so many people love aioli, and it can be used for so much, like, oh, even the fries. Oh, yes. Dipping the old fries, it's, it's great. It's a wonderful dip, a wonderful dressing. Mm. Yeah, it can be used in so many ways. So, you know, if you have spare leftover from making this dish today, pop it in the fridge and dip some veggies into it the next day. Or, yeah. Oh, veggies too. Yeah. Of yeah, course, why not? Perfect. The roast veggies and things like that. Yeah. Yum. So we're just going to give that a good stir. And then what we're going to do is take some lovely fresh ciabatta. So would you be able to just pop three of those oh, pieces we'll onto that for the... You. Just going to spread those with a bit of aioli. I think very generous. <laughs> well, you have to be generous with yes. us. <laughs> And you're allowed to be extra generous, of course, because it's got the yoghurt in it. And of course, on top of that, which I'm learning something today, is you're going to put a slice of lemon? Yes, yeah, so first of all, popping our salmon on, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, just a slice of really thin lemon. It's just, you don't want the, the um, skin to be too thick, of course, because then that's not very pleasant to eat. But um, just really thinly sliced lemon is absolutely gorgeous on these. And a little bit of the acid. Well, I think that we need to catch up with Wesley now and do this beautiful wine and food match. I'm really looking forward to all those good things. Aioli, yes. salmon, and a wonderful white Prosavion Blanc. Can't get much better. Sounds good. Wesley, now it's the best time to wine and food match. This beautiful meal created by Nicola. The salmon, the aioli, the lemon, and ciabatta with the white pra. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, this, this Sauvignon Blanc is from our vineyard. Uh, this was a very warm year, so we've got a nice tropical flavour with white peach. And the acidity of this wine will really match the oily salmon well. It'll add an extra dimension and, and just really bring it together. Great. Oh, well, pour away. And I think you're going to pass out some of this lovely salmon to us, Nicola. It does look great, doesn't it? And even the grapes there too, Wesley, they're actually from the vine. They're being harvested today, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah I've just ran off from harvesting right now. And the fruit is looking great, really tropical this year, really intensely flavoured, smaller berries for this season. So the crop is a bit smaller, but I have a feeling the flavours are going to be exceptional. So I like it. Should make a great year. That lemon! 
so much better than just a lemon juice. It's amazing. Yeah, and the lemon coming through in the oily too just mm. really brings it together. You know, before we even tasted it, just that scent, the aroma is amazing. Sort of even a bit of apricot or something for it. It's just so yeah, a bit of white peach and you get mm. some passion fruit and gooseberry. You, you got a good mix of the tropical and the slightly green flavours. Well, a beautiful way to end a great day. Remember the recipe is available on the craterrim.co.nz website. Thank you so much for sharing this and to you and all the best of the rest of the harvesting. Cheers to Crater Rim. <laughs>